Hey yo YouTube, it's Red Alchemy here. Let's play some more Dragon Quest XI. So, last time we made it back to Gondolia only to find out that Prince Jasper is here and he is trying to kill us. So, you may notice that it looks a little bit different than the, <laughs> whenever I ended last time. I had to close the game out and uh, rely on an autosave just for. Uh, it, the autosave was actually right at the beginning of the. Uh, the scene at night here where uh, you're trying to sneak past all the guards and stuff. So I had to do all that again. Uh, I ended up actually fighting a few more guards just for the experience. And of course, so now we have uh, two people pepped up instead of one. So it doesn't quite match up with what I ended at last time. I'm, I'm sorry. But the good news is that we're, we are much more prepared for this fight than we were. So let's go ahead and fight and uh, let's see what we can do because we got uh, Silvando and Veronica both pepped up. I don't even know really if there's anything with the two of them, but that would be really nice if there was, right? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and uh, let's sap Jasper just to start out. That lowers his defense. Oh, it missed him. That's, that kind of sucks. Okay, well, um, let's use... We maybe try. We haven't used Flame Slash in a while. Let's see if it does much damage at all. 24 damage. That's better than the like 17 he usually does, so that's not horrible. Well, apparently, there is no pet power between Silvando and Veronica, so right now we're just relying on hopefully Red Chan coming through with a pep. But uh, we kind of doubt that happened, so let's go ahead and just start attacking. Let's oomph. Uh, I think oomph would probably be a good thing to do. Let's just oomph Silvando. He kind of seems like our strongest character right now. Alright, uh, no need to heal yet, so we'll whoosh Jasper. Uh, Serena did actually level up and uh, learn a new attack. I think it was like Fizzle or something. Oh, he did a lot of damage. Alright, uh... Well, we, uh, we did oomph, so let's not waste it, because uh, Silvando is pepped up. So let's go ahead and attack. Maybe I should use... Ugh, I don't think the Hypno Whip would work on him. Let's try one of these other ones, maybe, because I feel like maybe we could do a good amount of damage. We just have to choose the right one. There's Hot Lick, Star Strike. Uh, let's, try, let's try Hot Lick. That was like 32 damage. That's not horrible. He lost his pep too, which kind of sucks, but you know, not the end of the world. And we don't have Eric, so we can't rely on him to have his pep power right now. Um, let's try and decelerate Jasper. I'm just really trying to debuff him as best I can. Okay. Um. I think it would be a, in our best interest to raise uh, Serena's defense so that she doesn't die, because we really need her to, to keep healing through this whole thing. Okay, let's just uh, let's go ahead and keep going. Get him with another hot lick. Did at least 30 damage, I think, so... Ah, yes! Okay, cool. Now, what do we have between Red Chan and Veronica? Ring of Rack and Ruin summons a sigil that sends the chance of your party casting critical spells through the roof. Yeah, alright, well, I think that's that's not a horrible thing to get during a boss battle. Okay, so everyone's critical spell chance increased drastically. Let's see what else we can do here. A magic barrier would probably be a good idea. Even though he mostly attacks with physical attacks, it would it would appear um, still doesn't hurt just to do it. Let's go and heal Red Chan because I have a feeling we're about to get hit with some sort of. But yeah, it's a good thing I healed him. Ooh, okay. I'm prevented from casting spells. That's. That's not good, because he's one of our healers, so let's hope that that uh, can be fixed at some point. Mm. 
Yeah, let's just go ahead with a, a Flame Slash. That's kind of the only option we have with Red Chain right now. That's really not good. Not good at all. Alright, uh... Let's hit him with a bang and see what we can do. 27, that's not horrible. No, he's gonna keep doing that hot lick. It, <laughs> that hot lick does a decent amount of damage, actually. Alright. Uh, heal... Mm, I don't know, there's no... We'll heal Red Chan just to be safe. I want everyone at, like, maximum health, if possible. Oh, critical spell. God. Well, I can do spells again, at least. That's nice, right? Oh, no, I can't. It's still going on. I just thought it wouldn't be, like, an option, if so. Luckily, abilities are not spells. I think all of our like all all of our critical uh, chances are going down again too, which sucks. But oh well, you know what? Uh, let's hit it, let's hit Red Chan with a reheal, just so that we're gonna be regaining even more health each turn. Red Chan already regains like three or four health each turn from the uh, the items we have on him. Okay, uh, for once I'm actually going to take a chance with Serena. I think Red Chan will be okay, even if he gets hit with like 40 or 50 attacks. So let's uh, let's try. Uh, I'm scared to try this Fizzle, even though it prevents enemies from using magic. I think you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. See if it'll work. Did it work? Oh my God! I think it actually worked. That's awesome. Oh, Red Chan has one health left. That is. Oh my god, okay. Well, we can heal him, it's fine. We just need, uh, we need to use our healer to do it. Because last turn we used our, uh, we used Silvando to heal. Yeah, Red Chan has some, uh, medicinal herbs. We'll just use that. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's go ahead and do a bang. Alright. We do need to heal with uh, Serena this turn. Okay, so let's do another bang. So the best thing we can do right now is just keep hitting him with what attacks we can hit him with. Um, let's do another decelerate. Let's just let's lower his agility even more if we can. Okay. Oh, yes! Red Chan's pepped up again. I did not expect that at all. Alright, sets about a single enemy with a blazing hot blade. Let's just do it. I guess we probably should have taken advantage of... Oh, 58 points. Nice. We probably should have taken advantage of him being pepped up for a little bit longer before using a pep power, actually. I didn't even think about that. But, uh, that's okay. Let's use, uh... Oh, no, no, no. We're gonna heal. We're gonna heal Sylvando. We don't want to lose Sylvando. Okay. Ooh, okay. For a second I thought it hit three of them, but no, it actually missed three of them. That's that's not too horrible. Red Chain can't cast spells still, but it is what it is. He hasn't really been able to do much of spells this uh, this battle anyways. I think we have a chance of doing it, I really do. We just have to keep going, keep attacking. Every uh, everyone that can do damage needs to just keep doing damage, and Serena needs to keep healing. Okay, so Veronica is the one that needs help this time. Serena does a really good job of healing. She hasn't even learned like a better heal yet, but I'm I'm really surprised with how well she does. Okay, and the, the thing about it is, is we're only attacking one enemy right now, so like he can't really do a lot of damage to multiple people, so there should only really be one person that needs healing each time. Uh, no, let's just keep using Bang. I think that's probably the best thing Veronica can do right now. Veronica can do right now. I could be wrong, but uh, I'm not for sure, so... Uh, for once, Serena doesn't need to heal, so let's go ahead and use, uh, let's use swoosh, or whoosh, whoosh. 
Oh god, Jasper's pepped up. That's not good. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, and Red Chan's down. Red Chan's down. That's not good. That's not good at all. I don't think we have anything to bring him back to life. Alright, we gotta kill Jasper. We gotta kill him now. Like, oh my god. I'm, I'm really worried now because he took one of us out. Oh, okay, cool. Man, just like one more turn. If Red Chan could have lasted one more turn, he would have gotten some experience. 2,000 experience? That's frustrating. Told you I was tough. Okay, so just two of them. Not a huge deal. It kind of—it's frustrating. I hate when that happens. <sighs> Brought to my knees by you, vermin. Ugh, how could this happen? <coughs> <gasps> oh, Eric, are you all right? Here, let me untie you. <laughs> what devilry is this, Darkspawn? By what trickery did you manage to overcome Sir Jasper? <laughs> <laughs> It matters not. You have had your fun. Now accept your fate and give yourselves up. <laughs> All right, this is gonna seem crazy, but just trust me, okay? Geronimo! <laughs> I mean, really, what other option do you have at this point? True to form, the rats leap from the sinking ship. So much for your faithful friends, Darkspawn. Now, this ridiculous farce has gone on long enough. All that remains is for you to choose how it ends. Surrender to me, or entrust your fate to the sharks that circle beneath. Oh! Sir Jasper, look! Hmm? Uh. Is that our ship? I was not expecting our ship to be that big. See, I told you, Silvando. Silvando is the man. Silvando is the best character so far. Yo! How's that for a dramatic entrance, huh? Introducing the Salty Stallion, the finest ship to ever sashay across the seas. Oh my god, he just used a RuPaul word. He's... okay. We just entered a whole new territory of awesome. <laughs> Dave, be a darling and pull over to the quayside so my friends can hop on, will you? Right you are, Silva. <laughs> Oh my All god. Aboard. That was that was one of those dudes in a pink mask. The like the the big muscly men. Oh my god. I love Silvando. Silvando is my favorite. <laughs> Get them! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Ciao for now, Jasper, darling. Bet you didn't see that ending coming. Ooh, I do love a twist. What are your orders, sir? They're getting away. <laughs> they will not get far. Made it, and by the skin of our teeth, we owe you one, Silv. <laughs> oh, don't be silly, darling. Dave is the one you need to thank. It's his steady hand on the helm that steered us out of the jaws of danger. <laughs> oh, stop it, Silv. I'm just doing my job. No need to. 
Blimey, what the exact? Oh god, is this another boss battle? Is that the same, the exact same monster from Dragon Quest VIII? Huh? Oh my goodness! It's disgusting! <laughs> I told you you would not get far. Enjoy your journey to the ocean floor. Now, my dear Tentacular, welcome your new friends to the loving embrace of the deep. Crikey, here he comes! Oh, I'm too young and beautiful to die! that noise those are gondolian merchant ships what are they fire Now, see, bene, bene. That monster always he is harassing the ships in this area. Molto irritante. Uh, okay, so because we uh, got Doge Rotondo's son's voice back, I guess. Did we? Did we ever get that to him? I don't think we did. I guess he's he's gonna help us though. <laughs> Me, Placido. Listen, I can speak now. I have back my voice again. When did we have time to do that? The boy, he tell me everything. He tell me it's you who cure him. And also, he convinced me that you are no dark spawn. That is no you who curse him in this way. He explained everything to me. Scusa, Amici. I have done to you a great disservice. Some days ago, I play outside the town, and I observe Sir Jasper talking to the monster. He's scary, so I make a little scream. He hears me, and curse my voice so I cannot speak about what I see. It was horrible. Oh my god, Jasper is the dark spawn. Maybe. So I learn that the one they call the dark spawn save my boy, and the noble knights of Eliodor, they consort with the monsters. What does it all mean? I cannot understand. But I know that you are an hero. And an hero must escape to fight another day, see? Darkspawn! <gasps> Hear me. Today, you were lucky. But your luck will run out. And when it does, I will be there. If you're wise, you will live in fear of that day. Things won't be easy for you now. You defied the Heliodorians, and they don't like that. Don't let them grind you down, you hear? See, and so now word is gonna spread that the Heliodoran knights are actually like not good, and hopefully people will see that we're good and like know that. Maybe the word that the luminary is you know alive again will spread. We live to see another sunrise. We're blessed. Blessed, I tell you. Ooh, Dave, I forgot to ask. Have you heard any little birdies chirping about a merchant buying something called the Rainbow over in Galopolis? 
I have, as it happened, silver. Word on the grapevine is the fellow what bought it headed over Zvardrust way. This really isn't just a game to you, huh? <laughs> Friends, sheepmates, amigos, Zvardrust and the rainbow await. Onward, forward, northeastward, destiny beckons. <laughs> I really like Sylvando a lot. Well, at least we made it away from uh, Prince Jasper and his crazy knights. Got some experience points from uh, the boss battles and stuff. Except for Red Shan, he didn't. Oh, we used 10 pep powers, oops. And we got another one for setting sail aboard Sylvando's ship, the Salty Stallion, to search for the Rainbow. Cool, yeah, so we have our ship now, too. That's that's awesome. Alright, so the time has come for you to find your sea legs, land lubber. You can, you can stop the Salty Stallion anywhere marked with an anchor icon on your trusty map. And when you want to take to the waves again, just go and talk with Dave. For your maiden voyage, why not set set a northeastward course to Svardvus, Svardrust. Why are the words so hard to read in this? <laughs> or the towns, rather. Okay, so let's look at the map. Uh, okay, we can see where we're going. Mm, there's a lot of anchors. In fact, there's one right here. Let's check this out. Just, uh, let's go ahead. So, well, this is the ship. We can see how it works. It's just, you know, just a ship. Nothing special. Disembark where uh, the anchors are. So, this is our first disembarkment, too. Immediately after we start. Uh, so yeah, uh, there will be different little islands like this that you can only reach once you get the ship. Uh, now that we have the ship, we can actually explore the ocean even. Finding places like this, there will usually be like hidden treasure on these little islands. So here there's, you know, royal soil. That's, you know, that's nice, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is a whole little island, isn't it? I thought that was like the mainland, but no. Okay, well, let's explore the island for a minute because... Usually, these little islands have something on them. There's some glass for it. This is all things we can use in the uh, the fun size forge, so it's worth it to get it. You know, even if they're not that great. Okay, we've already fought all of these things. It looks like so. There's no reason really to fight anything on this island that I can see yet. Anyways, yeah, those like little things. I don't. Have we fought one of those? I don't think we fought one of those. We'll fight this guy. And then there's some of those uh, wizened wizards that we fought earlier. We can set everyone back to... Oh, is Eric... Yeah, Eric's back with us too. Sweet. Everyone is back together. Thank God. Okay, so let's go ahead and set everyone to fight wisely and just get back to it. Grublin. Those things are called grublins. Alright. Now we know. In case you uh, are new to my Let's Plays, if this might be the first first part you've ever watched or something, then uh, I try to always uh, skip battles unless it's an enemy that I've never fought before, just so that we can see the name of the enemy and kind of what attacks they do, etc. It seems to be working so far. I always do my level grinding off camera. If possible, sometimes it's not possible to do that. Easy. But whenever possible, I do. Okay, moving on. Nothing over here. I'm not finding a lot on this little island. I was really expecting a treasure chest. What's this? What? It was just a little like mark that you can shoot. What's over here? There is some stairs over here. Oh, it's that door. Yep, there's the treasure chest. You have to come back once you've figured out what those doors are. I'm assuming at some point we get like a special key or something maybe that lets us unlock those doors. Until then, I really don't know. Like, I really have no idea what those are for. Nothing over here, right? We've already been over here. This is where we came from originally. Alright, Dave, let's go back. 
Is his name Dave or Dave? It might be Dave. Maybe that's just how Silvando pronounces it. I don't know. Alright, back to the sea. Okay, so let's look at the map again. Um, I don't think that there are any other real anchor points between here and Zvardrust. There is this one right coming up, but I don't think we need to be going and exploring the mainland really just yet. Um, I don't even know really where we have been on the map. Like, just looking at that map, I can't really tell where we've been and stuff. I would kind of like to see what that is. That looks like something neat. Alright, we'll take one little detour here. I just want to see what that little uh, place next to the ocean, out on the ocean is. Can I get there rather quickly? Oh, the Emerald Coast. Look, we've been here. Oh, it's the, where's, there's the door of departure. This is right outside of... Uh, Oh, it's outside of the Kingsborough. Okay, and there's Cobblestone Falls. Okay, I see where we're at. Never mind. We can go ahead. Well, let's go shoot this target real quick. I don't know if those uh, do anything, but uh, if they do, I've hit a few of them now. Okay, back on the ship. Okay, so then we have been up there already. See, that's what I'm saying. Is like that map is not really marked with uh, like names of regions and stuff. Have we been up there? Like, I know that that's an area we've been to already, but I don't really recognize that specific location. But that's okay. What is that? That looks like something important. Oh, yeah, so yeah, there will be random battles on the ocean as well. It's the way it was in the old games, too, so I'm not surprised to see that. We got some new little uh, thingamajigs here. A squid kid is what that's called. <laughs> How adorable. Oh, Silvando's dancing. If anyone's gonna dance, I'm glad it's Silvando. It makes me happy when Silvando does anything, so... Of course it would apply to dancing as well. Come on, Veronica. Kill him. There you go. I knew I could count on Veronica. You can always count on Veronica. Because it's easy peasy. You hear that? What is that? There's a pillar of light on the surface, but it d doesn't seem to do anything right now. Alright, so I'm guessing we come back there later. So here's our location. Here is, I guess, Vardrust? I always like things that begin with a Z. My name is Zephan in real life. Like, my real name is Zephan. Z-E-P-H-A-N. So, it's really cool for me to find anything that begins with a Z. Yeah. I've actually met another Zephan too, surprisingly. One person in my entire life. I worked at GameStop and this guy came into GameStop once and was like shopping. And he got on the phone and called someone and uh, he was calling into work actually to let him know he was going to be late. And he was just like, hey, this is Zephan, you know, blah, 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 I'm going to be late. And when he got off the phone, I was like, all right, dude, like, I don't mean to interrupt you, be nosy, I'm sorry, but like, I heard your name and my name is Zephan. My mind was blown at that point, because I had never met anyone named Zephan, but he said he'd actually met other, like, two other people named Zephan or something, which kind of blew my mind a little bit. But, uh, I just recently moved from, like, the middle of nowhere to Louisville, Kentucky, which is a big city, and, uh, that's where I was working whenever I met him. So I'm guessing he just is from a bigger city, so he's met more people than me, maybe? I don't know. It's, it blew my mind. But his name wasn't, his name was Zephaniah, actually. So technically, we don't have the same name, he just went by Zephan. But uh, yeah, my name is not Zephaniah, it's Zephan. Zephaniah is a book in uh, the Bible, though. Fun fact. Okay, so I guess this is Zvard Rust. I'm thinking maybe it's like a German-themed area. Ooh, look at that. We haven't fought one of those. But let's just move on. Uh, we're coming up on the city, so I kind of want to get into the city. We can always come back out here and... Oh, look, another target. We can always come back out here and kind of explore this area a little more. There's something to be mined over here. Let's go grab that real quick. 
any mining materials or uh, crafting materials is always worth it to try and grab when you see it because sometimes they come back so the next time you're here you can get a, get the same items again so I always just want to grab those when I'm able to okay there's a like a saber cat there there's a few of them actually I need to try and avoid those look at that that's a big something big winged something God, something's chasing me it sounds like all right moving on get away from these things do not kill me that's those are big the enemies are getting really big is this Vardrus where are we at Tisk, what a total waste of time I came to Vardrus because I heard there was some kind of legendary treasure hidden in the ruins but I've turned over every piece of rubble in the place and there's nothing here not a sausage that's why I've decided to call it quits and head over to Oct Oct Octagonia Octagonia for the Masked Martial Arts Tournament. The prizes this year are meant to be incredible. Ah, I have a feeling we're going to be in a mixed martial arts tournament later in the game. Alright, so Octavia via Dundrasil and Ruins of Dundrasil. So, well, I guess we're going to have to explore those ruins maybe next time. Let's make our way over to uh, the church though, because we actually haven't saved, like, properly saved, not an auto save in a really long time and uh, luckily auto saves exist because I had to I had to use one and at the that last fight there I know you all didn't see me use it but uh, I did have to use uh, one of those saves one of those auto saves yay another well to go down there haven't been many wells to go down in this game it's been weird okay so it goes both ways nothing on this side it would appear Unless there's something that I just don't see. Uh, let's go check the other side. There's usually something in these wells, really? Here we go, there's something. Some gold ore, that's, that's actually not bad. Gold ore is always good to find because you can make gold rings with it. And those gold rings take up your, uh, your defense and stuff quite a bit. I think it's the defense that it takes up. Pretty sure. Okay. Oh look, it's is the it's not the same guy. No, never mind. It looks like the same guy that we need to. We have a quest that we completed forever ago, and we just haven't gone back and talked to the guy to complete it. I'll have to do that. Like I said, I want to do a video where it's just a lot of like quest completions and stuff. So we'll do that some other time. But who is this? Is this? Did you know, traveler, that these fields were once part of a great kingdom? Zvardrus, they called it. In its heyday, its, grand, its grandeur equaled that of Heliodor Galopolis. That is, until one night when an enormous swarm of monsters raised the entire nation to the ground. Now all that remain are ruins. Its former glory is but a distant memory. But some remnants do yet linger. The souls of those who were once slain on the, that fateful night are still bound to this place by the weight of their grief. Twisted by their fury at the monsters who destroyed their homeland and by their frust frustration at being unable to protect it, they have become monsters themselves, dead knots. When night falls, they rise from their graves and prowl the ruins of Svardras. To atone for their failure to an, and to assuage their wrath, they attack any whom they encounter on sight. Traveler, those fiends were once my kinfolk. I cannot bear to see them suffer so. Will you help end their torment and allow them to rest in peace at last? Yeah, what are we supposed to do? Thank you, my friend. My researches into the art of exorcism have led me to believe that my former countrymen will only find peace if they are purified by means of the pet power known as care prayer. Your blonde haired companion is skilled in the art of curative magic, is she not? Perhaps she might know something of this ability. I would bid you explore the ruins of Zvardras at night and meet with the dead knots. Say a care prayer for their eternal souls before defeating them and they will surely find peace at last. Alright, so we need to use a pet power with Serena apparently that uh, is called care prayer and it I don't know, I guess it exercises these, like, demons at night. Fairy fluff, 30 gold coins, nice. I love finding gold coins, anytime I find gold coins. Alright, I was hoping there would be a, uh... Yeah, there's no, like, nowhere to buy weapons or anything here. I was gonna go buy weapons at the shop in Galopolis. Hopefully we can zoom back there, though. I mean, I might come up on another, uh... Another weapon shops sometime soon though so we might just wait but uh 
that's it for now, guys. We'll, uh, we'll, we're gonna just end the video here. We're, we're over the 30 minute mark, so I'm gonna try and just cut it here. And next time we'll focus on Zvardrust, uh, or the Zvardrust region, I guess, because Zvardrust is not even a, a city anymore. But, uh, next time we'll explore this whole region, see what we got to do, you know, see what there is to find, hopefully some, maybe some mini metals, and I'm hoping we can find, like, when, or where we turn the mini metals in soon, too, because I've got a few of them. I should be coming up on like eight or nine, maybe. Maybe not that many, I don't know. But if you enjoyed this video, though, please leave a like or subscribe. I try and release videos every day of the week. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and everyone have a great life.